Hey, this is Ian Franzen, the College Web Pro. In this tutorial video today, I'm going to show you how to add a simple Buy Now button to your website. So if you want to sell something through your website, whether it's a physical thing like a widget um, or an ebook um, or a service, if you want to sell something through your website, the easiest way to do it is with a PayPal Buy Now button. So that when someone uses the button, clicks on it, they can enter in their credit card information, their their bank account information um, or their just their PayPal um, email address and password and they can pay securely through your website um, so I'm going to show you how to add a very simple e-commerce gateway to your website so that people can um, check out and buy something through your website so there are three different hosting plans you can actually add this PayPal button on the basic hosting um, the professional hosting or the business hosting um, any of these hosting plans will work for the PayPal button. Um, you should have a College Web Pro account already set up and you should have a PayPal account set up already. So if you don't have um, one of those accounts set up, make sure that they're both set up and working properly. Okay, so um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to have two tabs open. One should be collegewebpro.com and the other tab should be the PayPal Buy Now button creator. If you just search, if you do a Google search for PayPal Buy Now button creator, you should be at this page. But I'll also put a link in the YouTube video description. Um, so make sure that you have this page open and you have the College Web Pro page open. Um, on the College Web Pro page, you want to click on the client login and then you want to log into your college web pro account here so for this demo account um, I just have the sample account set up here so I'm gonna log in now and then um, next to your website you want to click on the blue button that says edit site um, it's on the right hand side under my Weebly sites um, so click on the blue button that says edit site And um, this is just a sample site that I set up here um, just so I could give you a demonstration of how to add the button. So just in this demonstration, I'm going to add a new page. So you click on the Pages tab at the top, then the plus symbol. Then I'm going to add a new page called T for Sale. Um, I'm going to make sure there's no header. And then I'm going to click on Done. And then um, I'll give the item a title. I'll give the item a description. And um, I'll also add a photo. And you can add a photo by just dragging it where you want it to go and the blue line will show you where it's going to go. And I'll make it a little bit smaller and align it left. Alright, so now we have a product title, a product photo, and a product description. So the only thing left now is to add the actual button that someone will click on to purchase the item. So now you want to go to the PayPal website, um, the the uh, buy now button creator and like I said I'll put a link in the video description here on this page you wanna click on the link that says create your button now and you don't have to be logged into PayPal to use the button creator so create your button now and then you'll be able to choose a button type and enter the payment details that you want so you can have buy now donate a gift certificate or a descri description or sorry a subscription um, so you wanna just click on the buy now button for button type you want to enter the item name and you want to enter the item price so we'll make it four dollars and ninety five cents um, you can also add a drop down menu with prices and options um, or a text field and it'll show you what it looks like so if you wanted a customization of some kind you can play around with this 
you can add um, a shipping fee, a tax rate, um, but I'll just leave that blank for now. So really you only need to enter at minimum the item title, um, the price, and you need an email address here to receive payments. So um, I'm just going to enter my email in at collegewebpro.com and that should be the email address that's associated with your PayPal account. Um, and you can also log in if you already have the PayPal account set up. Um, and you can just ignore these two other steps. They're completely optional um, or you can you know mess around with them but I think you have to be logged into PayPal to use those options. So for now just make sure that everything or make sure that the fields you want in step one are filled out um, and then you want to click on create button and now it um, it generates some code so it'll spit out this code at you here um, under the website tab you want to select all this code here you want to right click and then choose copy and now that you've copied the code into your clipboard you want to go back to the website editor you want to drag the embed code element where you want the button to go you can drop that embed code element right underneath the item description and then where it says click to set custom HTML, you're going to click on that. It'll spring up here. And then you can paste the code. And now if you click off, it'll show the Buy Now button. So um, you click on Publish, and the changes will go live right away. Um, it takes a couple of seconds. And then someone will be able to go to your website. They'll see a page called T for Sale. And we'll change the order of the page so that the contact page is last they'll see a page T for sale and now they'll see the item title, the photo, the description and the button for buy now. Um, the only fee that you'll pay here is the 2.9 percent PayPal fee um, plus 30 cents from each transaction. Um, so for a hundred dollar payment you'll receive about ninety seven dollars um, and there's no other fees for um, doing PayPal transactions through the website. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions feel free to email me or call me and thanks so much for watching.